A reading from the book of the prophet Joel. Gird yourselves and weep, O priests. Wail, O ministers of the altar. Come, spend the night in sackcloth, O ministers of my God. The house of your Lord is deprived of offerings and libation. Proclaim a fast. Call an assembly. Gather the elders, all who dwell in the land, into the house of the Lord your God and cry to the Lord. Alas, the day, for near is the day of the Lord, and it comes as ruin from the Almighty. Blow the trumpet. Sound the alarm on my holy mountain. Let all who dwell in the land tremble. For the day of the Lord is coming. Yes, it is near. A day of darkness and of gloom. A day of clouds and somberness. A people numerous and mighty. Their like has not been from of old. Nor will it be after them. Even to the years of distant generations. The word of the Lord. The Lord will judge the world with justice. The world, the Lord will judge the world with justice. I will give thanks to you, O Lord. With all my heart, I will declare your wondrous deeds. I will be glad and exult in you. I will sing praise to your name, Most High. The Lord will judge the world with justice. You rebuke the nations and destroy the wicked. Their name you bloated out forever and ever. The nations are sunk in the pits they have made. In the snare they set, their foot is caught. Lord. But the Lord sits enthroned forever. He has set up his throne for judgment. He judges the world with justice. He governs the people with equity. Oh. Alleluia, alleluia. of this world will now be cast out. And when I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw all to myself, says the Lord. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. When Jesus had driven out a demon, some of the crowd said, by the power of Beelzebul, the prince of demons, he drives out demons. Others, to test him, asked him for a sign from heaven. But he knew their thoughts and said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself will be laid waste, and a house will fall against house. And if Satan is divided against himself, how will his kingdom stand? For you say that it is by Beelzebul that I drive out demons. If I then drive out demons by Beelzebul, by whom do your own people drive them out? Therefore, they will be your judges. 
But if it is by the finger of God that I drive out demons, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. When a strong man fully armed guards his place, his palace, his possessions are safe. When one stronger than he attacks and overcomes him, he takes away the armor on which he relied and distributes the spoils. Whoever is not with me is against me. And whoever does not gather with me scatters. When an, when an unclean spirit goes out of someone, it roams through arid regions searching for rest. But finding none, it says, I shall return to my home from which I came. But upon returning, it finds it swept clean and put in order. Then it goes and brings back seven other spirits more wicked than itself who move in and dwell there. And the last condition of that man is worse than the first. The Gospel of the Lord. Beloved, good morning to you. So, the uh, readings of today are pretty, pretty loaded. A lot to speak about. So, let me do what is right and just extract perhaps two thoughts from these readings so that we can reflect and pray. Now, in our gospel reading particularly, there are two things that Jesus is dealing with. If you like, two evils. The first one is that he is accused of being the prince of demons or being possessed by Beelzebub, the prince of demons. Now, it can't get worse than that if you are possessed by the prince of demons himself. So think carefully about it. This is a very serious accusation that the people are leveling against Jesus. And listen carefully to the response of Jesus. Now, there is something worse than the prince of demons. Something perhaps more malign than Satan himself. And what does he call that? He says it's division. He says even Satan can survive it. So we need to think carefully and ask ourselves really what what Jesus is talking about. See, the Old Testament has a long history. One of the most marked things that happened in the Old Testament was when between Jeroboam and Rehoboam, they split the kingdom of David into two kingdoms, the north and the south. And that became cause for the weakening of Israel. In fact, that was the reason why sometime around the year 721, the Assyrians came and completely destroyed the northern kingdom, carried off the people of Israel in the north into exile, and they never came back. We call them the story of the ten lost tribes. That was the beginning of the weakening of Israel. The next thing it led to in the year 587 was the Babylonians coming down to Judah, which was barely a, a remnant, because if the ten tribes were gone, it was left with two. That is why it was so easy to conquer Judah and carry them into Babylon in captivity. The beginning of the destruction of Israel was division. I ask an Israelite, what is worse than Satan? Division. Jesus makes a very terse but intense statement. Anybody who is not gathering with me is scattering, is dividing. There can be nothing worse than that. Now, church communities, there's one thing that we need to always pray against, and that is division. It will ruin us 
faster than Satan himself. Very dangerous and insidious thing. For which reason we pray. And it's interesting the way Jesus puts it. He talks about any nation that is divided. Any household that is divided. Be careful. Thing that destroys nations. Thing that destroys families. Same thing that destroys the church. Division. So today we pray, may the Lord spare us wherever we are, in our departments, in our families, in our societies, in our church, parish, wherever we find ourselves. May the Lord deliver us from what is worse than Satan himself, what even Satan cannot stand. That is division. May the Lord protect us from that evil. Amen. Beloved, let's rise to our feet and let us pray for the unity of our nation, for the unity of the church, for the unity of our families. And our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For our leaders and teachers in the church, that they may uphold Jesus' clear and difficult teaching on marriage as the way God set up human nature from the beginning. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That the poor, the oppressed, and the unborn may find a friend in lawmakers, as well as those who fight for their cause. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In thanksgiving for the gift of true friendship in our lives, that we may be strong and faithful friends of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, who have treasured God's commands and delighted in his statutes, that they may now taste the abundant fruit of their faithfulness in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We turn to our Blessed Mother and say, Hail Mary, full of Lord grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen.